I didn't see you there. It's been a minute since I made my last home improvements video, I know. I've just been like trying to get time here and there to properly get stuck into sorting things out. It's not the most interesting thing to show you, but really what I needed to do is just spend a lot of time looking through things and sorting things out. And I filmed some time lapses and I'm gonna talk you through them, but it's not the most riveting content if it's not a time lapse, you know, just sitting and sorting things into piles. But I've done quite a bit. I think I've made a good amount of progress. I have some jobs I need to do today, some things I need to take to the recycling centre, some things I need to donate, and I have washing to put away and things to organise. A spider to find, because I saw a spider on my stairs just now, and now he's disappeared, and like, I'm not completely opposed to the idea of him moving in and you know, finding his own little space. We might get along, but he's vanished and I'm not happy about that. I wanna know where he's intending to live. I have a long list of things I would like to get done today. I know I'm not gonna get all of them done, but that's okay, I'm gonna try my best. But before I do anything else, I'm gonna do some yoga. my box of things to recycle. I'm pretty sure I can recycle all of them. There's some things I'm not sure about I need to have a google like broken bowls. <laughs> if you are aware of if you can recycle broken bowls <laughs> let me know. A plastic bag full of plastic. My old gross chopping board. My local recycling centre takes big hard plastic things like this. This is a bag of old electrical products and things that don't work anymore and there's some little bits of wood in there. This is a light that I smashed, but I might actually keep this. I use this when I have a bath and I don't want the main light on, I want like some ambiance, you know, just a little glow. It used to have like a case around it and I dropped it once and one side of it smashed. And then a couple of weeks later I dropped it again and then all of it smashed. So now I've just got <laughs> the frame and the bulb. Um, but I might keep this for now until I get a better light, no offence. I also have about three black sacks of clothes and shoes to donate or to recycle. I must be coming up to around 20 sacks of stuff that I've donated or recycled. I, th I should have kept count, but I didn't. I've been going through all my clothes. I've really kind of changed the way that I look at clothes now. I'm not just like, that's pretty. I would like to buy it and put it in my wardrobe for 10 years. Now, I don't care how nice something is. If I'm not wearing it on a regular basis, it's gone. What I've done is like, I've gone through all my stuff, got rid of like the initial things that I don't want. And then I've gone through the same piles of stuff. And every time I go through it, I'm finding new things that I'm like being honest with myself and I'm like, when was the last time you wore this, really? <laughs> and if I can't even really remember the last time that I wore it, or if I remember that last time I wore it, there were little things about it that were annoying me, it's going. It's going to charity shops. <laughs> Okay, so what have I actually done the past few months? What progress have I made? Let's have a look, shall we? So the first thing was really fun, much more fun than I expected. I had a bunch of old candles that didn't really have much left in the bottom and I wanted to empty them of the wax so I could use the jars for other things. Filling them with boiling water, now that I say it, kind of sounds like common sense, but I didn't think of that. So I had a Google, <laughs> like, what do I do with these candles? Google advised me to fill them with boiling water, so I did, and it was fantastic. It was so satisfying to watch. Look at that jar in the background. Watch that big chunk. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's so satisfying to watch. It was really, really nice. And 
then you can either pull it out like this one or some of the others I guess they set quite quickly so I had to like cut the wax down the middle. If you're a candle maker or you know someone that enjoys candle making you might be able to reuse the wax. I don't know how it works but <laughs> maybe you can reuse the wax. When the candles get quite low they can make this sort of black staining around the top of the jar and I found it came off really easy just with a quick rinse and a scrub with a an old brush and then they looked lovely and shiny and snazzy and I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for yet. Um, I kept all the lids as well. I'm thinking they might be good wedding table decorations um, for my mum. She's having a real like DIY homemade wedding so we might be able to fill them with flowers and fairy lights. I've had a massive photo collage that I got printed from Photobox um, on my living room wall for years now and it was quite an old one that we had up there like my hair was still blue in some of the pictures so I bought an updated collage and I put it in a white frame but I ended up actually going back to the brown one um, but I just love these I always use the same layout there's like multiple different layout options you can use on the website but this is just my favorite one I've got a bunch of my nature photographs of like flowers and things in there My mum popped over and helped me clear out a bunch of things. She also helped me set up my new steam cleaner. Ooh! I didn't trust myself to set it up alone, not when there are instructions involved in boiling hot steam. I wanted my mum there to supervise me. And it's pretty awesome. The lino in the kitchen, I think it's hard to get some things off the floor. I think maybe I need to actually like scrub certain little bits but it's really good. It's so easy to use. I'm obsessed with it. I want to steam my whole house now. <laughs> Probably the biggest decluttering, tidying up job that I did the past few weeks was in my bathroom. I'm just showing you some befores of the cupboards. I've made really terrible use of the space. There's just random crap in there, not really a lot of stuff. And then up here, it's just so horribly cluttered. Like I just barely liked looking in here for anything. These cupboards were just chaos. The way I like to do this, I don't know if it is the most efficient way, but I like just getting everything out. It makes more of a mess initially, but I like having a completely like blank, cleaned down area to then put things back into once I've sorted it through. Um, so I just took everything out. I found some things I'd forgotten about and some love letters. <laughs> I found some old hair dye as well, I still had green hair dye. I also emptied out this cupboard up the top here and I use this every day because my toaster sits in there because we've got a really small kitchen, not a lot of storage space so it gets quite crummy although I cleared all that out, gave it a little wash round. While I was up on my chair I found a plant pot that I'd forgotten about up there. A few plant pots actually. <laughs> cleaned around these cupboards as well. I also cleared out this little set of drawers that we have like down the side of our cupboards. It's basically empty now that. And this was what I was left with when I emptied the cupboards. And um, yeah, ooh boy. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful, beautiful chaos waiting to be organized. So then I started with just checking on my cosmetics and toiletries sort of things, sorting them into piles of things that were out of date and things that I'd barely used that family and friends might want. These massive bags, they're so handy. I've got a lot of them, probably more than I need, but they're really handy for if, you know, things like, I don't know, moving or special occasions or like things where you need to take a lot of stuff places. So I do like to keep them, but they were taking up so much space. Um, but I came up with quite a nifty little system. I think I just rolled them up and put a hairband around them so they're all nice little sausages now. I do need to buy some more hairbands now, but it's okay, it's worth it for my tidy little sausage bag collection. I don't live near a Lush shop and I've got so many products that I'm saving up to trade in for face masks when I next go near one. So I just put my Lush bag on the back of my bathroom door and filled that up with all my pots. And yeah sorted everything out so this is the before you can see how horrible and cluttered this was and this is after mm, it's so nice it makes me happy every morning now when i go get my toaster my load of sausage bags my food processors and blenders and stuff and my shiny shiny toaster what these cupboards looked like before 
and what they look like after. I love having so much less stuff, it's so nice. I took out one of the shelves on the right there so that I have more space for taller things. It's just so much nicer and I don't dread having to get something out of this cupboard anymore or fit something in. Then there's these bottom cupboards which weren't as cluttered as the others but I really wasn't making good use of the space and this is what they look like now. There's a massive empty space in there because that's where I've been putting clean towels and I just they're all in the wash at the minute so <laughs> there was none in there. Um, I've got my empty jars, empty plant pots, other plant foody type things. Um, yeah it's just looking much much nicer. A stone shaped like an ear. See these are the kind of little things that I keep for years and I don't really know why. I've done lots of other little general things around the house. The big one is our spare room. Our spare room has... Ugh, <laughs> it's just... It, uh, the spare room is the room that really really upsets me because there's a whole room there that I could use for so many different things. I can't get quite as much space as I would like because the house was furnished and there's lots of things in there that aren't mine and I can't just like do what I, whatever I want with them. It's going to be the most difficult one but this is the big one. This is the room that really needs doing the most. I really 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 want this area behind me clear, as clear as possible when little doe is back up and running and I'll suddenly be running an online store again you know I'm gonna have to reshuffle my routine a whole lot then when that happens I don't want any of this here I'm gonna have less time to sort all this stuff out so I need to get it done and I want more free space there for yoga and for if, if Alex ever joins me in yoga I'm trying to convince him to <laughs> there's a lot I want to do and it looks and sounds quite simple I just look at this pile of stuff and I'm like that just needs to be gone but it's surprising how long it takes like sorting things through it's quite shocking how much stuff I have <laughs> Like this whole process has really opened my eyes to that. I definitely, definitely need to streamline everything that I own. I considered getting rid of my whole wardrobe and just starting again with like some really basic things and like a few outfits so that I know exactly what I've got. I might still do that. I'm still thinking about something like that. But my main focus for now still is my house. Do I look really formal in what I'm wearing? <laughs> Alex got me this jacket for Christmas and I'm like, it's quite cold so I'm wearing it but I feel like I'm going to a meeting. <laughs> so where am I at right now and what are my goals, you might ask? <laughs> the past few months have felt like big transition months. Things are coming along really well, my house looks less and less cluttered every day. To get in the zone for cleaning and tidying and decluttering, this is what I like to do. I have a little Spotify playlist, listen to some Dolly Parton, you know, chill, be in my comfy clothes, I'll scruff my hair back so nothing's gonna get in my way and I can just boogie and clean and relax. My big goal for the next video is to have my little office space sorted out. I've been making like a makeshift office out of a foldy out dinner table and my computer chair. I would love to get rid of the exercise machine but it's Alex's so I'm still working on that. He tells me he's gonna use it. I think that is a lie. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, goals for next time. Would like a little office space sorted out. I'd like a whole bunch less stuff. I'd like a much smaller but more precise wardrobe. My ultimate goal is to have much, much, much less stuff. Because I feel like I've been struggling for so long to keep my house nice and tidy and peaceful and I'm kind of fighting an uphill battle when I have about three houses worth of stuff in one little house. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope maybe it gave you a little motivation to get into your own declutter mode, you know, and go for it because it's really great once you get into it. It's really satisfying. Um, I'm kind of hooked on getting rid of stuff now. Everything I'm, I'm looking around at and I just want like Alex's DVDs. He's got way too many DVDs. <laughs> we don't watch DVDs that much. I can't remember the last time we watched a DVD. But yes, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>